welcome to another tutorial by the butler. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to put high definition videos on YouTube using Camtasia Studio 6. Uh, first you're going to open up Camtasia and go over here to the produce tab and click batch production. Uh, add files and projects. It really doesn't matter what they are because we're going to eventually just cancel all this anyway. Uh, then open up um, any of these, it doesn't matter which, open up YouTube or something, I already have mine. Hit Preset Manager, and then click New. I'm going to click Edit just because I already have one, but you click New. And uh, name it whatever you want. Uh, then go down here to File Format and click MOV dash QuickTime Movie. Hit Next. Uh, QuickTime Options. Settings under Video. Compression Type needs to be under H.264. Frame Rate needs to be 30 FPS. Keyframes Automatic. Frame Reordering. Uh, don't mess with this. And the compressor quality needs to be on best. Uh, it's probably already on high. Drag it up to best. Then go down to size. And no matter what your screen size is, get 1280 by 720 HD. Um, and don't mess with any of this. Then go down to sound settings. 16-bit uh, stereo and rate should be 44.100 then hit ok hit next then here you're going to put custom size width 640 height 360 um and hit next uh here if you want to put a watermark you can um I'll show you how to do that you hit include watermark hit options and then find your picture and then you just move it around and all that. Alright. Okay. Then hit finish. Close. Cancel. And then the next time you import media <coughs> into here, <coughs> you will have the option of putting it in HD. Show you how right now. And my computer's being slow. Okay. Then you'll just go down here, YouTube HD, change video dimensions, hit OK, and there you have it. Whenever you're done, a file, produce video as, YouTube HD. Alright, this has been a tutorial by the Butler. Rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, check out my partners on my channel. Have fun, don't die. Uh, real quick, uh, I forgot to say that if you do all those settings that I just did, then it'll take you a good deal longer to actually produce your video and upload it to YouTube. But if you care about quality more than speed, it's okay.